So I have picked up a few things along the way through the blog that I have and through friends. So this is what we do okay. to make the week go a bit quicker. So first of all, cooking. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one of my big things is cook once, eat twice. So if you're making a meal, if you're, say, roasting a chicken, stick two in. When it comes out, you just carve one of them, put it away in the freezer or the fridge for another day, and you've used exactly the same amount of oven action. So good. it's actually energy efficient as well. Very um, good. If you're making something like spag bol, which is a massive favourite, make double the amount of bolognese, and you can use that sauce to make lasagna, things like that. Chilli is another great one for freezing and making huge batches of it, and I normally freeze some for the kids, stick a bit of extra spice in there and for then, me and yeah. the hubby, because yeah. we like it spicy, and <laughs> put it away in the freezer, there we are. Perfect. Yeah. That's good, a good idea. I've got two chickens in there, actually. Just when you were uh, have, have having you? your coffee earlier, yeah, very They're good. Already oh, roasting away. Oh, yeah, 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 look, look, look at that. that. So you'll be coming up. And you that actually, one when you cook film. two chickens like that, yeah, you've, you've got to pretend that's like... hot. <laughs> just put your hands straight in the oven. Come on, play along. <laughs> at a least good job she's going. <laughs> I won't mention it. Lovely, well-cooked <laughs> chickens in there. Uh, what about packed lunches? Packed lunches are the bane of mum's lives, especially if you leave it to the morning. There's nothing worse than that morning panic. Mm. A lot of people don't know you can freeze sandwiches. I had no Have idea. Have your mind blown, Miss Willoughby. You can freeze a sandwich. Really? So we're going to make a little production line here. We have bread, we have ham and cheese. Um, you could butter the bread, maybe. Okay. Mr Scofe, could you put the ham and cheese on? Right, And we'll no put it problem. over here. So my tip for sandwiches is... Saturday night, before X Factor comes on, or before Downton Abbey, which I'm quite excited about, have a little production line in the kitchen. Get your kids involved. Make it fun. So someone can be buttering. Someone's putting on the ham and cheese. Yeah. And that all goes in the freezer for the week. So you can freeze it like you that? Can. Like yes. that, with the butter? Put it in a freezer bag. And the bread won't go funny? No. We've got one here that I froze. I That's a out. frozen sandwich. That is a frozen sandwich. It's probably still a bit cold. Oh, yeah, you've yeah, not I long taken it out. <laughs> you oh, no, to. I can't. It's you, might have, you might <laughs> yeah, have a little arrival <laughs> soon. So you're going to give it time to defrost. But you can freeze. It's like take I've it out had, the night before. I've had parties before for the kids, and I make a gazillion sandwiches that no one eats. Yeah. And I've stuck those in the well, freezer. Stuff like lettuce and cucumber, I no, suspect, doesn't freeze I probably freeze wouldn't well. do that. Yeah. But jam, you can stick in the freezer. But ham and cheese, perfect. Ham and cheese, good. So those would be in the freezer. So you'd literally have to just get one of those out that you've already done. You also have have your um, crisps and um, snacks and stuff and drinks and I have one of these in the fridge good yeah. to go so you literally go along in the morning grab out everything you need yogurt tubes are brilliant if you freeze them yeah stick them in the kids lunch box the next day and not only do they not go off but they keep everything nice and cool in That's the lunch a good box idea, so they're perfect very good all of this stuff i also cut up on a sunday i say i cut it up on a sunday now my kids have cooked lunches at school so that's Happy right days, but, but if you I were did. to um also saving on packaging and cost the kind of little sandwich box stuff that you get like the string cheeses and stuff yeah really expensive because a lot of what you're paying for is the packaging, packaging. so just grab a chunk of cheddar chop it up have it ready to go in your fridge all of these and also if you stuff. chop up anything a child will eat it more i yeah. always think oh so well, like, i, I always found that with ours yeah if you give them an apple they wouldn't yes. eat it but if we chopped it up into yeah. bits they yeah yeah it. and then Agreed. these Same sandwich me, boxes actually. are brilliant this is actually my daughter's sandwich box Aww. but look saves on packaging because sandwich goes in there snacks go in that's there that's brilliant isn't that clever what about your slow cooking slow cooking is the future my children say slow cookers are epic and they are not wrong <laughs> right i didn't used to get the whole slow cooking thing Basically, you chuck everything in the morning, and I mean chuck, I'm no cook. Put it in the morning, stick it on. When everyone comes home, the food is ready and it stays warm. So if you and your hubby want to eat later, then you have yours later. So what um, sort of things would you be cooking so, in there? So I have been doing, and I'm going to show you today, um, a vegetable and um, chickpea curry to go with the Indian summer that we're having at the moment. You chuck all the ingredients in, I'll show you, and then you switch it on and it does it all by the evening. Now, the so other chickpeas. thing that is brilliant, I do a lot of vegetarian stuff at home because I am fairly vegetarian, um, which is why I do it. Um, <laughs> but meat is amazing in here because the great bonus is you can use cheaper cuts of meat and because they are cooking all day, they go super tender. So I'm just going to add a, a little, little bit, bit of, of curry powder in there, mild. Curry powder, mild. Okay, you, you won't be eating this, lady, because otherwise we might have an arrival. Oh, yeah, well, maybe oh, hang I will. On. Onions. 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 In they go, in they go. And then you just leave it. It's slightly mind-blowing when you walk out of the door and you know that something is on at home, but... Put and you set it to cook. a timer. So that will be five hours that will be cooked. And then um, when I come home, I'll probably dish it up with naan bread and pop doms and rice. 
chuck on a few cashews, everyone's And that's there. it. That's it, done. How much, so you've prepared that in seconds, obviously. Yes. Um, uh, all of this, how much time do you reckon you've saved so far? I reckon sandwiches is about 15 minutes a day, because that's quite dull doing that. Yeah. Um, so I reckon I've saved probably about six days so far. No, I don't know. 